you are looking at an image of circuitry. And so this might be what you would find if you were to open up some type of a electronic device like a computer. And uh, it's a bit mystifying, actually. It's kind of like looking at a little city, but it's a city where I don't understand anything about the entities that live there and how they do what they do, because it's really quite amazing, <laughs> you know, that out of this circuitry, which we're looking at on this circuit board, uh, that out of this circuitry, you can get things like the image of me talking to you on a video and the sound of my voice. Or you could send email, or you could look at web pages, or you could calculate, you know, crunch numbers in a spreadsheet, or do word processing, or make videos, or, you know, uh, manipulate images with Photoshop all through this circuitry. So how, how is it that, you know, computers are able to do what they do using the, this circuitry? And to understand that, we have to start at the very beginning. And, um, you know, the very fundamental foundational aspect of electronic computers is that they are electronic. They run on electricity. And electricity has two, two discrete states. And I'm saying discrete because I know that, you know, many of you have experienced the dimmer switch. And you could say, well, actually, electricity has all kinds of shades between on and off. But really, at each end of the spectrum, there are only two discrete states. There's either on, on, that's a better on, or there is off. There's on or there's off. And if we were to have like one light bulb, so let's just say, you know, pretend this is a light bulb for a minute. If we were to have one light bulb, then with that one light bulb, uh, would we be able to store or convey information? Right? Would we be able to store or convey information? And we do this all the time, whether we realize it or not. Uh, every year, in America at least, come October, what is it, 31st? Is that when Halloween is? Uh, we will convey information to people with electricity and we'll store information to people. We'll store information with electricity because we turn our porch lights either on or off. And if the porch light is on during Halloween, what does that mean? If the porch light is on during Halloween evening, what does that mean? It means that, yeah, trick-or-treaters can come up to the door. And if the porch light is off on Halloween, if it is off, that means don't come trick-or-treating at my door. I guess instead play a trick on me. Um, so with one light bulb, right, with one light bulb, and with that light bulb either being on or off, we were able to store and convey uh, two pieces of information. So one light bulb was able to store, one light bulb, one light bulb was able to store and convey two pieces of information. If it was on, come on up, trick or treat at my door, that's fine. If it's off, then, uh, you know, go away. <laughs> so one light bulb could store and convey two pieces of information and it could actually receive input. So when we talk about what a computer does, right, a computer does four basic functions. IPOS, IPOS, it receives input, it will process that input, it will store that input, there we go, like Motley Crue or something there, and it will also produce output. Well, with just one light bulb, we have knocked out, right, we've knocked out three, three of those things. <laughs> we've got input, We've got output and we've got storage. With one light bulb, the only thing that's missing is processing, but I'm not going to hold up that finger because that's the, yeah, that has different meaning in our culture. So we have a IPOS and, and with one light bulb and electricity and electricity being on or off, we could input a message, like we could turn our light switch on and that means trick-or-treaters could come up and that's storing that message and it's also outputting that message all at the same time. So this idea that we could store information uh, and convey information and, you know, input information into a system that stores it and conveys it, even if it's as simple as a light bulb, um, this, this, this foundation is really how computers are built. And you can understand it at the most basic level, right? The only thing we're missing is processing. And we'll get to processing in a minute or in a week. 
that's a little bit more complex. But um, at the most fundamental level, computers run on electricity. And electricity has two discrete states. So computers run on electricity, and electricity has two discrete states. And with one light, right, how many messages can be stored and conveyed? We could store and convey two messages. So if the light is on, come on up, come in, come trick-or-treating. If it's off, go away. And so that's the foundation of how computers work. And we're going to build on this, this idea that, that computers run on electricity. And electricity can either be on or off. And depending upon whether or not something's on or off, we could store some information. If it's on, come trick-or-treating. If it's off, go away. All right? So uh, this is the foundation for how computers work. They run on electricity, and electricity can either be on or off. And based upon whether or not a light bulb or a switch or a circuit, right? A circuit is another word for switch. Based upon whether or not a light bulb, uh, uh, a switch, or a circuit is in the on or the off state, we can store some information. So we're going to explore this further in the next videos.